All right, welcome back uh, to the finale. This is going to be the finale. Finale. Uh, uh, Wind Waker, I'm so glad that we're finally here, honestly. It's been a while. Uh, we're like, what, in the 30s, 40s of our episodes? Jesus Christ. <sighs> Way too long. My country lay within a vast desert. When the sun rose Even he's into like, the sky. <laughs> yeah, it's like, dude, shut up. Dude, shut up. I'm, I'm, I've come this far. Okay. Just do this. But I gotta say, Link, <laughs> fuck you. I love, I love this speech. <laughs> when the sun rose into the sky, a burning wind punished my land, searing the world. <laughs> <laughs> and when the moon climbed into the dark of night, a frigid gale pierced our home. Dude, I want to kill you. <laughs> no matter when it came, the wind carried the same thing. Like, really? You're gonna keep talking? Death. But the winds that blew across the green fields of Hyrule brought something other than suffering and ruin. You said this before, haven't you? I coveted that wind, I suppose. It can only be called fate. That here, I would again gather the three with the crests. Like, really? You have all this? That I should lay my hand on that which grants the wishes of the beholder. That when power, wisdom, and courage come together, Ooh. the gods would have no choice but to come down. The power of the gods. The Triforce. He who touches it will have whatever he desires granted. I mean, no one just comes off with this on top of their head. Like, <laughs> yeah, he's this, practicing. This, this, this he was like, like in the mirror. <laughs> like in the water in, the, in that room, he was like, like practicing. <laughs> Already the crest of wisdom is mine. That's exactly what Ling's thinking. <laughs> All that remains. Like, you, 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 you've been up here way too long. Yeah, you're about to, <laughs> you're about to pay for that mouth, Link. Look at that slow, menacing turn, dude. <laughs> Just fucking punched a kid, dude. Oh, hit a child. I will hit a child. <laughs> Do not fear. I will not kill you. I merely have need of the power that dwells within you. Now, let us put an end to that which binds us together. Fucking Triforce, man. And there's, there's, there's stuff I want to say. I'll wait until, like, the, the scene is over when the fight starts. Assuming I can concentrate on the fight and what I want to say at the same time. But I, I mean it. I really do love, like, this whole... The whole end part of this game. His, like, obviously practice monologue and all that shit. Gods, hear that which I desire. Expose this land to the rays of the sun once more. Let them burn forth. Give Hyrule to me. Like fucking cock blocked. He who touches it will have whatever he desires granted. That is what you said, is it not, Ganondorf? <laughs> Gods of the Triforce, hear that which I desire. Oh. I desire hope for these children. Give them a future. Wash away this ancient land of Hyrule. Let a ray of hope shine on the future of the world. Where did he, where even did he come from? He's a boat, dude. Just came down. That's all water. We're all like we're under the ocean right now, so. And let our destinies finally be fulfilled. Ganondorf, may you drown with Hyrule. I may have mixed up their voices at some point in there. I didn't really change my voice that much for either of them, so... <laughs> yeah, see? That's the water coming down to fulfill the king's wish. He's really got a kick out of that. <laughs> I mean, this is foolishness. A future for you? What are you laughing at, Ganondorf? You're insane. McTittle, I'm sorry. I overslept. I think it's time for us to say goodbye to this place. We must return to the world above. 
back to our ocean. Someone punch her in the eye? <laughs> no, she does that a lot. She's done that since you met her. She always does that, like, look at you with one eye closed. Very well, then. Allow me to show you your future. Yes. Allow me to show you just what hope you have. See how much your precious Triforce is worth. Anyway, I, I mentioned before, like, way back when we started, how much I love this Ganondorf, because he has, like, real motivation. And, I, like, I, I, like, again, as prepared, as obviously prepared as, uh, as that speech was, I think that really uh, uh, kind of exemplifies what I meant. Like, and again, it's, like, real basic Nintendo plot, but it's still there, and I, I appreciate it for what it is. God damn it. This guy's kicking my ass. Zelda, shoot this fucker. Thank you. Hmm. It's pretty good with those damn swords. Yeah, what do you he's say? Gonna kick my ass. I don't get her shit together. There you go. All right, he's pissed though. You ain't got no fairies. I do. I got one, but again, since we didn't really do like at all any kind of exploring or anything, we kind of really just went through the main campaign. I have one bottle, so I have one fairy. I wish I could have gone back to get uh, soup from Grandma. You missed, Link. You missed. Zelda gets back up eventually, but I don't know if I have to do a certain amount of damage or... Or what? I don't think I can hit him with anything myself. I should find it. Oh, I don't have my bow. That's right. She has it. Fuck. Hit him! God damn it! There you go. Nice. There you go. Come back to me, baby girl, and shoot this fucker again. Shoot him where it hurts. Urethra? That's pronounced right. Urethra. Urethra. She missed. Yeah, he's wise to her wileys now. Whoa, Zelda! Yeah, I don't, I don't think you want her on your team, man. <laughs> doing a very good job. Well, it, it, we got to the point where he's not going to get hit by her her arrows anymore so it has to happen and I don't know if I need to do more damage to him before she suggests it but she's gonna shoot me and I reflect back at him but yeah I don't know if I need to do more damage to him but I need this to land oh fuck Ooh. I get that feeling where there's just the food you want <laughs> It is something you're craving really bad. Yeah, all the time. Really? Yeah. I don't get that often. I get it all the time. I, I, I have a super hard time figuring out what I want to eat. I often have a hard time, but... But, uh... No, I'll... I'll often just... I want that. C cravings come very rarely to me. Um... But... Pizza from PPP. That just sounds really good right now. I don't know if I'm supposed to do something to get her to suggest reflecting it. Do I have to get close to her? Maybe I have to get close to her. Yeah, there you go. Okay. There you I got go. it, bitch. 
Oh. Oh. In the head. Oh yeah, that is a satisfying fucking ending. Yeah, I've been wanting to save this whole time, but I hate giving things like that away for the people who haven't uh. seen. <laughs> the wind. Miss Blow. Dude, you've been stabbed in the head. <laughs> like, Shut stop the talking. fuck up. <laughs> there, okay, he's not talking anymore. He is stone. I am stone. <laughs> Again, I, I love that whole that whole ending. Uh, I love it so much. The, uh, not my favorite Zelda, this one. Uh, I think it has a lot of flaws, uh, but it's great, and the ending is probably my favorite ending to any Zelda. I have lived and regretted the past, and I have faced those regrets. If only I could do things over again. Not a day of my life has gone by without my thoughts turning to my kingdom of old. I have lived, bound to Hyrule. In that sense, I was the same as Ganondorf. But you. I want you to live for the future. There may be nothing left for you, but despite that, you must look forward and walk about the hope. Trusting that will sustain you when darkness comes. Farewell. This is the only world that your ancestors were able to even view. Please forgive us. Blah blah blah, you've come with us. Find the next Hyrule. Ah, but child, that land will not be Hyrule. It will be your land. It's a little sad. There's some deep stuff. Ah, uh, yeah, that's a super satisfying ending, though. Um, I mean, for Nintendo, for like, like it's not super deep or anything. I have scattered the seeds of the future. But I feel like that's way more. Maybe not exposition than other Zeldas. Like, I, I think Twilight Princess did a lot in that sense, too, and Skyward Sword even more so. But, uh... Why is she in that gear now? Because that's what she really looks like? I don't know. They don't really explain the whole thing. She just magically showed up as Zelda. I think probably the king did that to her, too. Like, transformed her into, like, more Zelda-like Emo appearance. Prince. Not so emo anymore. <laughs> <laughs> now that he has his wings. Now that we did all that shit for him. We solved his problems. Piece of shit. <sighs> but my sister's safe. Tetra's safe. Ganon's dead. He really seemed like he aged though. And Ganondorf? they didn't. No. Emo Prince. Oh, Emo Prince? Yeah. I mean, there's no, like, time travel in this, like, I get all, the only time that really passes is whatever days you actually spend traveling. So... So he just, like, has that dramatic of a personality change? <laughs> well, I mean, again, he was depressed, so yeah, I guess it makes sense that the personality change. In terms of appearance, maybe he just cleaned himself up. I don't know. It's not important. He didn't help me. <laughs> it wasn't important throughout this whole thing. Not really. Yeah, that's that's the Wind Waker. Oh! Um, I'm excited. Uh, so uh, by the time this episode goes up, uh, Breath of the Wild will have come out like a long time ago, and I'll like yeah. dive deep into that. I don't think a long time ago. I'm sure we still have a lot of stuff to put up. It, it doesn't matter. Uh, it'll have already come out and uh, I'll have played the shit out of that 
but I'm just really excited to have gotten through this because I want to get through like every Zelda game eventually. Um, not necessarily me playing them all, uh, you know, like, like I ended up playing this one because Jimmy couldn't join us anymore, so it just got to the point where, well, if we're going to finish it, we need to do it without him. Uh, so, so I'm real glad that we got to finish this one. Uh, so we can move on to the next one at I, some point. I agree, just because I too have a Zelda I want to play. I know you want. I know you want to do Link to the Past. Yeah. So maybe we'll do that one next. Like not immediately. We'll put some time between Zeldas. But maybe we'll do Link to the Past next. Just because I don't imagine we're gonna want to do Breath of the Wild on release, because then we'd have to interrupt something to do it. Again, it all depends where we're at. I mean, again, when we release this shit, we never know where we're at. <laughs> we should do a better job with plenty. Yeah, but at least y'all who are sticking around are enjoying us, and we enjoy you. Yeah, that's behind the scenes shit. Doesn't really matter. And you know, what? at this point, why not? If you if you've stuck around this long, you join us for the end of this. Let us know in the comments. First person to let us know in the comments if you stuck around this long, we'll get a shirt. Uh, game, that's a Gamersbury shirt. So, again, first person to comment regarding this uh, video gets a Gamersbury shirt. We'll get in contact with you. Love y'all. I'm Matt. <laughs> <laughs> I think people normally introduce themselves at the beginning of videos, Matt. Yeah, but I mean, some people tend to forget. Yeah. And also, you know what? I mean, we. I mean, this I love comments so much that um, even our spam comments are great <laughs> I can tell it's a spam comment good says hey dude <laughs> you're great and it's like all right which one of us we, like, I don't know who like who you're talking to or if you even saw our video because they're obviously in each video more, more than, than one, one of us, us. <laughs> Oh man, well we have fun here, and we I mean, again, we at this point we really appreciate everyone who's subscribed, everyone who's commented, everyone who's liked, and even more so everyone who's disliked our videos, because that means you stuck around long enough. That's not to, to not like our video, really. Yeah, people, people are assholes. They'll just do it. I mean, I mean, I'm not saying that they didn't give it a chance. I mean, maybe they did, but, I mean, that's not necessarily true. Not necessarily true, but in my head. <laughs> um, kind of late, but I guess if you're here this long, today we're drinking 90 Minute IPA. Very good beer from, um, Dogfish Head. Dogfish Head Breweries. Um, that's a 9.0 alcohol content. <sighs> I, I don't want to call it smooth. What would you say, Joey? I have no idea. I've never been. Uh, uh, I've never been very good at, at uh, describing. Describing. Yeah. Know, like. Uh, um. I don't want. For me, it's always like, I, I know what I like, and I know what I like when I find it, so like, yeah. <laughs> well, in, in this situation with this beer, what do you think? Not my favorite, but it's not bad. It's, it's, it's pretty... I mean, I like IPAs in general, too, so that helps. It's not like like uh, like one of those coffee beers that you've... Yeah, Joey is not a fan of the uh, coffee porter. No, not at all. I, I don't drink coffee is the thing, so... Which is understandable. I mean, if you're not a coffee person, that's, that, that's, that's all you. I mean, go on hating life. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, though. I don't need caffeine. That's the thing. <laughs> I don't drink soda either, so... My caffeine intake is relatively yeah, small. Yeah, actually, yeah, that's true. Yeah. Congrats on that. I actually genuinely give you props for that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to remember if there's an, an after credit scene here. I don't think there is, but just in case, let's let's see what happens here. They look super happy together. <laughs>
Oh uh, yeah, okay. We have this where they where they take off. I I always wondered since the king obviously stayed in the sunken high rule. I wonder if the boat is just not alive anymore. So um, this leads into Phantom Hourglass. Phantom Hourglass, yeah. yeah. Phantom Hourglass is a direct sequel to this. I believe I started that one. <clears throat> I have a I have a problem with the DS ones that I won't get into here because it's probably gonna take me on a rant much longer than this cutscene will last. You need the stick, huh? <laughs> what? Go on. What did you say? You need the stick. What are you talking is about? Is it the stick? What's like the... using the stylus? Oh, yeah, yes, using the stylus yeah. to move, yeah. But again, I'm not going to get into it because it's going to be like a long rant. I like the games. They're, they're fun, but... Uh, that's it. You just you use a stick. That's what you didn't like about it. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we, we finished this, which is awesome. High five up here. Boom. That was a good high five, too. It was. That was an awesome yeah. high five. Yeah. I felt that in my butt. Oh, All good. right. And as Link sails off to new adventure, so shall we sail off to a new game. So next time on the Gamers Brewery. Something else. Something else. We'll see you guys later. Oh, it feels good to kill this one. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs>